Hi guys, welcome to day four of your seven day yoga challenge, very kindly sponsored by Asquith. So today is gonna to be all about working our core. And most people think that the core is just kind of this six pack area, but actually it's a whole kind of wall of muscle that runs all the way around the back as well, like a big kind of corset. So we're gonna be working that today. So let's come to an all fours position. So hands underneath your shoulders, knees underneath hips as usual. Close your eyes here and just give yourself a moment to acknowledge how you distribute the weight. So noticing if you place the weight evenly in both hands, in the knees, maybe there's a slight little sway from side to side. Just starting to feel that connection with the earth in your hands. Taking a nice big inhalation. And let it go through the mouth. Blinking the eyes open and let's go. So tuck your toes. We're gonna to be lifting our knees one inch off the mat. So it's one inch, not one foot. So press the floor away. Belly button scoops in, breathe. Good, take one more big inhalation here. Embrace those shakes. Exhale, lower down, untuck the toes, give them a little tap out if you want. Loosen up the shoulders. Going again, tuck the toes when you're ready. Inhale, lift off one inch. This time, we're gonna tap the knees to elbows. So take a breath in. As you exhale, elbow to knee. Good, inhale. Exhale, elbow to knee. Good, inhale. Exhale, tap. One more each side. Good. Take one more big breath, hold. Exhale, find your downward facing dog. Well done, walk out through the feet. We're not messing about today, we're getting straight into it. Good, On you, as you inhale, ripple forward to your high plank and hold, establish yourself here. Press the shoulder blades up towards the ceiling. Nice, reaching your right fingertips forward, shake someone's hand. Exhale, place it down, nice, inhale, reach. Left hand, exhale, place it down, good. Extending your right toes back, place it down, inhale, left toes reach, place it back down, take a big breath. Exhale, downward facing dog, well done. Take a nice big inhale through the nose. And let it go through the mouth. We're gonna flow a little bit here. So as you inhale, ripple forward to your high plank. As you exhale, bend the knees and flow back to your down dog. So it's like you're making big circles with your hips. Inhaling forwards, exhale back. So if you can keep your knees quite low. So inhaling, exhaling. One more inhale, come high on your toes. Exhaling. Lovely, as you inhale, pick your right leg up high. As you exhale, place it in between your hands, nice. Inhale, rise up, high lunge. As you exhale, find your warrior two, so back heel drops, open out the arms, good. As you inhale, flip that front palm and reach it back. As you exhale, elbow to knee, top hand reaches up and over, let's flow here. So inhale, picks you up. And exhale, brings you down. Working that side body, inhaling. And exhaling. Last one, inhale, reach up. This time as you exhale, windmill your hands down, but bring your left hand down and your right hand is gonna reach up into a big, easy twist. Nice, find your side plank from here. So come onto the outside edge of your back foot. Step the fo top foot on top. If you wanna make it easy, you can drop that bottom knee. Otherwise, you're here with me. Take a big breath in. Exhale, hand down, high plank, hold. Breathe in. Breathe out. Nice, float your right fingertips off. And maybe your left toes float off as well. Don't worry if you fall, take a breath. Good, exhale, place it down, other side. Left fingertips reach. Right toes point, find your balance. Tummy scoops in, keep it tight. Place it down, take a breath. Exhale, downward facing dog, well done. Good, walk it out if you need to. Any little movements that feel good. 
Let's go for it on the other side. Inhale, left leg sweeps high. Exhale, place it in between your hands. Rise up. Exhale, settle down. Big breath in. Exhale, warrior two. Drop the back heel, open out the arms. Flip your front palm, inhale, reverse. Exhale, elbow to knee, top hand really reaches. Make yourself super long. Inhale, fill up. Exhale, reach, reach, reach. Keep energy in your fingertips. Nice, inhale. And exhale, lengthen that side body. Good, inhale, reaching up. As you exhale, spiral your hands around, right hand down for a big, easy twist. So twisting into that front knee. Find your side plank, whatever you want. Come onto the edge of the back foot and reach up. So imagine someone was pulling you up with that top hand and push the floor away. Don't hang into your shoulder. Good, take a big breath. Exhale, left hand down, high plank and hold. Press the floor away. Good, take a nice big breath in. We're gonna lower all the way down to our belly. Take your time, elbows hug in. Use your knees if you want to. Come in all the way down. Well done, breathe. Make a little pillow for your head with your hands. And from here, we're gonna work the back of the body. So on your next inhale, pick your right leg up, point the toe, reach for your back wall. Good, exhale, place it down. Let's do the left foot. So inhale, point the toe, reach, reach, reach. Placing it back down big toes together. See if you can relax your upper body. So the tendency is to kind of clench the uh, jaw, but see if you can really relax your upper body. It's all in that lower half. So inhale, picking both feet off the mat. Keep your big toes touching. Send your breath to your hamstrings, your glutes, your lower back. So really direct that breath. Keep breathing. Good. One more big breath. Lift it up. And exhale, lower down, relax. Let your heels drop out to the sides. Shake out your bum if you want to. Nice. Bring your feet together. This time, interlace your fingers behind you. Squeeze the palms together. And super glue the tops of your feet to the mat so they're not going anywhere. Nice. This time, as you inhale, press into the tops of your feet. Lift your chest. Imagine someone was pulling that fist down in between your heels. Keeping the chest nice and open. Keep the breath flowing. Good, one more big breath in. And exhale, slowly lower down. Nice, make a little pillow for your head. Shake it out, relax. Nice, we're gonna go for the full expression of the pose. So, toes together, interlace your fingers. Everything is gonna lift off the mat but our belly buttons. So, use your breath. Next inhale, when it arrives, lift off. So everything is engaged. Point your toes, send the breath to the back of the body. So with this one, it's almost like you don't need more effort, you just need more breath. So take the fuller, deeper inhales. Good, one more big breath. See if you can lift just a millimeter more. And exhale, lower down, make a little pillow. Shake it out. Good, bring your hands underneath your shoulders, big toes together and push back to a child's pose. So forehead down to the mat or make a little pillow with your hands, shake out your bum. Big expansive breaths into the back of your ribs. Nice. When you're ready, coming forwards to all fours. Tuck your toes, find your downward facing dog. Good, from here we're gonna hop, step or jump to seated, so however you wanna get there. Step or jump the feet forwards and come to take a seat. Nice, from here we're gonna find our boat pose. So let's build it up. Big toes can be on the mat, this is absolutely a boat pose as long as your back is straight. Option two is to lift the toes in line with your eyes. Option three, Bring the hands out, nice. So from here, we're gonna flow a little bit. Don't think about how many are coming, just flow with your breath. That's all you gotta think about. This is 
breathing exercise more than it is a physical kind of strength exercise. So inhale, exhale lower. Good, inhale, exhale lower. And don't worry if you're faster or slower than me. Just see if you can keep your breath nice and even. There's no kind of rush or rule. Just focusing solely on your breath. I find it quite helpful to fix my gaze at my toes and just follow them. Good, one more, inhale, exhale. Inhale, lift up, and we're gonna lower all the way down for 10, nine, drop the toes when you need to, eight, seven, six, embrace those wobbles, five, four, three, two, and one, well done, take a breath. Ah, sigh it out, nice. We're gonna stretch out our tummy as we've done quite a lot with it. So you can grab a block or something if you want to, or a book or a stack of pillows or something. So whatever it is, just bring something underneath you. So on the flat part of your lower back, so it's just above your bum line. So find something quite supportive. Have your palms facing upwards. You can close your eyes, take a nice big breath in. As you exhale, see if you can just soften that front side, letting go of that core engagement. If you want more, you can creep your toes a little bit further away to start stretching into the hip flexors more, but not essential. And you're welcome to stay here for as long as you like. This is one of my favorite poses ever a supported back bend, just feels so good. And um, so you're welcome to stay there. Thank you so much for joining me for this core workout. So tomorrow we're gonna to be working on balance and stability, which is perfect because we've activated our core now. We know exactly what we need to keep us stable and balanced. Thank you so much for joining me today and I will see you on day number five of our seven day challenge. Namaste.